Good afternoon, Year 5, and welcome to our first English lesson of 2021. I hope you're all doing okay. What I would like you to do, first of all, just like you did in your SPAG lesson earlier, is to get your English book, or your exercise book, sorry, out in front of you, and to write the topic or the subject, which is English, and below that, the LO, which is to deduce information about a character, and as well, do not forget the date, which is Monday the 11th of January. Pause the video as well whenever you like, rewind the video whenever you like as well. Okay, you can do that as much as you like. Okay, so first of all, we have an image here, or an illustration rather, of what looks like a man riding a horse. Now, what I want you to do is just pause the video and have a little think to yourself and write some ideas down as well in your exercise book of what you can tell about the character, who this pe person or character might be, and what they might be like okay so be imaginative be creative i want to hear some really good ideas make sure you've got an explanation as to why you think these things though don't just be silly and write something random make sure you've got an actual explanation as why you think this character might be who he or she is okay brilliant unfortunately i can't hear all your amazing ideas i'm sure you've got some really 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 interesting ones okay so i've jotted a few ideas down for myself so i've put that it looked initially i thought it looked quite old-fashioned maybe a little bit spooky and a little bit creepy it looked like quite a, a scary man a little bit evil okay so i kind of had these ideas running through my head so then i thought okay so what might he do what might he be so i thought maybe he's a horse rider he's obviously on a horse um and he's riding it okay and he still looks a little bit evil and i thought really looking at the illustration it looks quite like a ghostly image okay so the horse looks a little bit ghost-like so does the man sitting on top okay so i thought maybe it might be some ghost pirate okay R ravaging revenge and that's all he wants okay so there's just some ideas maybe what you might think he might be like what we are going to do now is look at this image and as you can see this image is very similar to the illustration i've just shown you okay and this is the book called the highwayman and this book is what we will be looking at this term or for the next few weeks in our english lessons okay so what i want you to do again is just pause the video and write down some notes as to what you think will happen in the book and why you think this okay and what do you think a highwayman is. Now that's quite important because we're going to be looking a little bit more into that. Okay, so what do you think a highwayman is? And then also tell me what you think might happen in the book and why you think this, just based on what you can see from the front cover. Okay, again, be creative. I want to hear some interesting ideas later on when I read your work. So pause the video, off you go. Okay, year five. So I'm sure you've all come up with some really good ideas. I'm looking forward to hearing them all later. Okay, now we're going to find out a little bit more information about what a highwayman is. So what I want you to do again is just pause the video and read through this text. We also have another slide of text as well that I want you to read through. And this should give you a little bit more idea about what a highwayman actually is. Okay, year five, this is the second slide as well, so pause this, read through this again for me. Okay, brilliant year five. So hopefully you've read that text and you've got a little bit more of an idea about what highwayman is. Okay, I know that text hasn't given you everything, but you've. This is why we're going to be doing this task today. So this task is to create a poster of a highwayman. So what the first thing I need you to do is to research further what highwaymen are. So you've got some basic knowledge now based on those texts that you've just read. Now I want you to find out a little bit more about what highwayman, highwaymen are. Find as many interesting facts as you can for your poster. Now, when you do your poster, you can either do this in your exercise book on your line paper, but if you have any plain paper that you might want to do on there, then stick into your book. That would be excellent as well. It's entirely up to you. Your poster must include, however, a drawing of your highwayman, so you might want to do that in the middle of your page. Feel free to use as many colours as you want. Make sure it's realistic, because obviously we've looked a little bit at highwayman, and we know they wear quite dark and dingy colours. Okay, so make sure it's realistic. OK, and I want as well on your poster some information about highwayman. So these can be bullet points, it can be paragraphs, it's entirely up to you. You might want to do it like an image in the middle and then uh, lines coming off, giving information. It's entirely up to you how you do it. I want to see some really interesting facts, though, please. Make sure you correct all, include all the correct clothing and equipment in your drawing and all the information must be factual. Don't draw something or write something that isn't true. OK, make sure we've got actual facts here. I want you to blow me away with all your interesting and amazing ideas. OK, and finally, just to make sure you do it really, really well, there will be a reward for the best drawing that I see and for the most interesting fact. So if you've got a fact that nobody else has, 
then you might be in for a reward. Now, obviously, I know I can't give you the reward yet, so what I'm going to do, just so you know I'm not lying, is I'm going to write down lists of who I owe a reward, and then hopefully when you all come back to school, I can hand these out. So you might, by the end of this lockdown, go home with lots and lots and lots of rewards, hopefully. Okay, so get on with that, Year 5. I hope that's all good. Remember to send a picture of your work to me once you've completed it. And then I can get it marked and give you feedback later at a later date. Okay, thank you very much, Year 5. See you later.